Hi everybody, Warren Woodward here. Some people weren't satisfied that my last video was proof enough that smart meters affect the human heart. They want to see me get tortured repeatedly and they want to see others get tortured. Actually, I was tortured repeatedly in the last video. We just didn't show all the takes. According to one skeptic, I may have had a condition that just happened to coincide with the smart meter transmission. How did he know my secret? I must confess, I do have a condition. It's called being healthy. And what the video showed is what happens when a healthy heart gets zapped by a smart meter. So anyway, in part two here, we're showing that the results of the first video are repeatable. And there's another victim in this video also. So it should be obvious to all that smart meters affect everyone. Some people were also concerned that the smart meter may have interfered with the EKG device itself and not the human heart. So we're going to have a segment showing what happens when the smart meter transmits with the EKG running but with nobody hooked up to it. Enjoy the show. Hi Mr. Warren, this is uh, Dr. Leon. I'm Hi, Dr. Dr. Leon. Leon. How you doing? Okay. I'm going to check your blood pressure and pulse and make sure it's safe to run this experiment today. So I'll get you started here. Close your eyes, relax. Okay. Nice to be under doctor's supervision. Okay, let's take a look here. 109 over 68. That is amazing. It's very healthy. Pulse of 59. So I'm going to listen to your heart now quickly. And uh, it looks like it's safe to run this experiment on you. Okay. It wouldn't put you at risk. But let's just double check by listening to your heart. And one more position, we'll just lift up here quickly. Great. Excellent. I don't hear any murmurs, no clicks, no gallops. Uh, Thanks, you see. are very calm, so you, you must do yoga and meditation. I do. All of that. Yeah. Very so, healthy. So there's different different places have different sounds? Yes, depending on what part of the plumbing you're talking about and which valves, like this is the mitral area. Uh -huh. If I would have heard some odd click, that would be uh, mitral valve prolapse. Uh -huh. And that could be making you susceptible to palpitations, irregular heart uh -huh. fatigue, poor exercise tolerance, and uh, the need to take some antibiotics before dental work to uh -huh. prevent uh, infection in your heart bacteria. Well, I'm glad serious. I don't have to worry about any of that stuff. No, you don't. Okay. All right. Thanks. Well, good luck with the experiment. Okay. Thanks, doctor. You're welcome. Hi, Sandy. I'm Dr. Leon. I'm going to check your blood pressure and pulse today and make sure it's okay to run this uh, experiment this test on you with the smart meters or smart meter one all right so we'll set that here close your eyes relax All 
right. 107 over 64. That is wonderful. It's very healthy. Let's check your pulse. 68. Wow. Now I'm going to listen to your heart. And then we'll be ready to run the experiment on you. I'm going to listen in five different areas. And tell me a different story each place. Okay, so far so good. We'll just lift up here a little bit so I can get to the last two spots. So far so good. Okay, very good. I don't hear any murmurs, no clicks, no gallops, so it's okay to run this test on you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, today we're using a HF59B uh, from Gigahertz Solutions. This is an isotropic antenna. It's measuring microwave frequency radiation uh, in all directions. Uh, it is connected to a data logger uh, from Gigahertz Solutions, and uh, it's time stamping everything. And we'll be able to go back and look at the EKG and correlate it with when we had smart meter transmissions. Okay, we're measuring in uh, microwatts per meter squared at a distance of 10 feet from the smart meter. And uh, every now and again you'll see uh, a 1 on the left-hand side of the HF59B's uh, LED screen. What that means is the smart meter is transmitting at an intensity uh, greater than 200 microwatts per meter squared. And uh, we're just showing you uh, a few clips of the how the test ran with Warren and with Sandy. And, uh, you know, we're not showing the entire length of, of, of the test because it would just make for a very boring video. Uh, but uh, after these segments, uh, we're going to bring the doctor in and he's going to explain, um, you know, what these strips, what he sees in these strips. And... Um, um, we also did a segment um, with the uh, with the new log EKG hooked up to nobody uh, because we we had some people get back to us and say, well, the the smart meter could be infer interfering with the EKG um, and and not really with somebody's heart. That what you're seeing is just interference because the the leads are so long they're they're acting as an antenna. Well, as you can see, uh, the smart meter is firing but the EKG is just flatlining, so there's no interference, the wires aren't acting as an antenna, and this is a valid test. I have Dr. Leon with me now, and we're going to be looking at some of the screenshots we took of uh, the EKG strips and smart meter transmissions that we got during the testing period. Dr. Leon is going to explain to us uh, what the EKG strips uh, are telling us. Thanks, Doctor. You're welcome. So here's uh, when I was the test subject and the smart meter was not transmitting. And you can see up here we've just got a flat line. There's no peak, so the smart meter was not transmitting, not molesting my heart. And this is what my heart looks like. Uh, doctor, uh, what do you see there? Yes, uh, I see a very normal function here in the PQRST, except that the S to T segment uh, is too long. There's what's called a, a ST elevation. And fortunately for you, 
um, it could just be a variant that that's you because in other cases the patient would have chest pain and shortness of breath, myocardial infarction or heart attack. There are other reasons why they could have um, such a pattern, but um, I've checked your heart and listened to it. Uh, taking your blood pressure, your pulse, everything is fine and you're very uh, physically fit. It's, it's very obvious. So, except for this variation, it looks very healthy and normal. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Okay, we'll move to a, another slide here of me, uh, my heart rather, getting, getting hit by the smart meter. And, wow, I see a difference right there and I'm not even an expert. But up here you can see these are the smart meter transmissions. And uh, here's the EKG strip. So, doctor, what do, you, what do you see there? Yes, it's very evident that during the, what should be the repolarization phase, so that means starting here, for example, with the atria here, the P wave contraction, and then the QRS complex, you have the ventricles contracting, and then you have repolarization, so the heart is reestablishing itself uh, electrically. So during that time we observed in the past slide that this was very smooth and you see all these lines here so there's uh, an electronic disruption in your heart function uh, the electricity of it and uh, uh, this resembles what could develop into perhaps an atrial fibrillation where the atria is just out of control fibrillating so that would be this is, is stressful, in other words. It is stressing it? Yeah. the heart, no doubt. Yeah. I just want to go back to that first slide so people can see for sure what... Oh, yeah, look at that. It is it is very smooth there. Yeah. So, uh, and here it's not. And between the PQR, R waves, to R wave here, it's equal distance. So that's a good thing as far as regularity, but within that in this section of the S to P segment where you see these waves uh, that's a destabilization and um, uh, definitely of concern yeah okay let's let's see another slide then this is again these are the, the smart meter transmissions and you can see I guess um, what I'm seeing anyway is that even though it's not transmitting right here and these are about, what, a second, each one is about a second, right? Even though it's not transmitting at this second, it's still disturbed. I guess because it's in a disturbed state, because it's been, it's been pulsed at. It hasn't had time to recover yet. It's back to your normal rhythm. I see. And you'll notice a little curvature here uh, in the ST segment. And it, and it changes a bit here. It's more smooth, but it is curved. Um, the P waves change, and the, and the Q waves, you see here where it's like a square, and here it's more pointed, and this is even more pointed here on the Q waves, you see. Yeah, do you, is pointed a bad thing, or how do you want it? You want it like a smooth wave, or do you want it pointed or squared off like that one is, or what? Um, go back to the other screen so you, I can show you. The normal screen? Mm-hmm. That's two back. You see, it's it's not square and it's pointed. Yeah. It's not really round. Yeah. This is what we want. This is yeah. normal here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, let's go to the last one here, of my heart. And again, these are the smart meter transmissions. And uh, what do you see here? Continued uh, chaos here. And the, then you see here the P wave and this P wave, but the Q is here. It's, it's not like I can even make out a Q wave here. And then you see something of one here, but it's chopped off right there. Yeah. And then more chaos during this repolarization time. And this would be affecting the atria. And here we have a variation in the P wave again, where it's notched, and then here where it's more uh, slope that is straight. What about this? This looks kind of different here. You see, it's got like a little double bump there, whereas these other that's got kind of it a little bit there, but.
but it doesn't, this is different. See, see yes. what I'm talking about? The little step here. Mm -hmm. What's that about? So that's um, at the end of the contraction time of the atria here. And so basically this just means that there is some chaos and the heart has to work very hard to keep itself regular. Uh -huh. Okay, thanks, doctor. Now we're going to move to uh, Sandy. And, uh, oh, wait. Yeah, that's Sandy, uh, but we need to go to her. Where the heck was it? There it is. There's Sandy, uh, just normal. Okay, Sandy is 74 years old, uh, very nice lady, and I found out after the testing that she has been sleeping about five feet away from the smart meter at their home. And so um, what should be a normal strip here is very much not normal. Um, if we look here again, as with you, Warren, um, this area, but it's even more pronounced with these waves. And here, in what should be the, again, PQRS, I'm not identifying much of an S uh, wave, if any. And then on the way to the T wave, the peak here, you see how it's um, jagged here. So this is affecting uh, ventricular function in her. And then the T wave, and then some more waves that you would not normally see. Um, and from one uh, segment, we'll say R to R wave, to another, it changes. There's no consistency here. You see how this yeah. T wave is cut off and then peaked? Yeah. And then down here in the Q wave, there are two tips to it. Yeah, I see that. And then a squaring of the T wave here, and it's jagged on the way up. Yeah. And it continues. It's uh, Now, she didn't feel any symptoms, but that's how this can be. Yeah. That uh, our hearts are affected even if we don't feel it. Yeah. And so this is without the smart meter. Yeah. And she didn't even know she had a smart meter uh, until the day after the, the test. Until th until the day of the test. Yeah. Yes. And uh, uh, so let's go back here. I think this is a little bit out of order, but let's go to Sandy number two. And here here are the smart meter transmissions, and here's the EKG strip. So this looks even this more chaotic. More chaos, and it's hard to tell if this is the P wave. But then there's a rise right before it, you see. So all this translates into how the nerves and the cells, sodium, potassium, electrically affecting the heart muscle, the, the chambers of the heart, the atria. And this is very disturbing. Yeah. And you see from one segment to another, it's very different. Yeah. And so much so that um, I, I told the crew to stop uh, exposure to her and stop the experiment because I was concerned uh, that prolonged exposure would be further destabilizing to her heart. Yeah, yeah, we just have one more of her, I think, right there. And again, these are the smart meter transmissions, and here's her, her heart. I think this is just before you uh, stop the test. Yes, this alarmed me, and you're right, this is the uh, pattern I was seeing which made me you know, order the stopping of the experiment, or the test. Yeah. And you see here, there's um, the PQR, the R wave has gone farther up, here it's shorter. So the longer she was exposed to the smart meter, the more unstable her heart, her rhythm became. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Doctor, let me ask you this, from, from all these slides that we've looked at here, uh, do you get any indication that, that uh, this could be just interference from the, from the smart meter on the EKG machine, even though we saw it flatlining before, uh, that it wasn't having any effect? I'm just wondering if this, if in your mind, there's like a possibility that that could be just not really her heart, but just the smart meter acting on the on the EKG device itself? Well, scientifically, that's an important question. And um, 
all of us have to keep in mind such questions. And uh, you could see uh, kind of uh, glitchy results. For example, if the leads were not placed properly or not connected fully, then you would see uh, things we're not seeing now. Now, this is accurately reflecting what's happening with our heart, and I would definitely not say that this is being triggered by the smart meter um, as a glitch or interference. No, these are true readings. Yeah. Doctor, thank you so much. You're so welcome. Utilities. Utility regulators. Can we get smart meters removed now, or do I have to show somebody getting a heart attack?